Okay, so the craziest thing just happened to me. I was in line at McDonald's, you know, getting some Chicken McNuggets and some fries. Like, why not? Because Chicken McNuggets and fries are the absolute best thing on the entire planet. So I'm just standing there, waiting in line for the guy to be like, Yo, come next and get your Chicken McNuggets. And obviously I was going to get a McFlurry too. And so I'm standing in line, and I'm ordering. And this guy behind me taps me on the shoulder. And I turn around, like, somewhat pissed off because I'm trying to get Chicken McNuggets. And he's like, hey man, are you Bang Jam? And then I thought for a second... Like, maybe I'm daydreaming, maybe this is not, this can't be real, so I just kind of, I just kind of shook it off and kept ordering, like, I thought I heard it, and he's like, dude, are you Bang Jam? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I am Bang Jam, and he's just like, dude, I watch all your videos, and I'm like, are you, are you serious right now? Where are the, uh, where, where are the cameras? Where are the cameras, guys? Um, I thought, I honestly thought that my friends told somebody to go up. Just like go up to me and tell me that and maybe they like paid him or something just so I'd feel good about myself. But he's like, nah, dude, I watch all your videos. Like, you're hilarious, man. And then he looks at the McDonald's guy. He's like, isn't that the guy from the Searching for the Chill video? And he, um, I couldn't believe it. He referenced one of my videos. This guy actually knew who I was. I might as well, might as well call me Phase Jam. Might as well call me Phase Jam. I'm getting recognized in public, guys. I'm getting recognized in public. I'm practically world famous. So I talked to him for a little bit and he's just like, yeah man, I've been watching your videos for a while. I saw you, I started watching you when you were going for the Darth Recruitment Challenge and I'm like, wow, you've actually been following me for a long time. And I don't know like, if you guys have ever had like a moment where you felt like, like, like you were some sort of celebrity, but I literally felt like I was a celebrity. I only have like 2.5K. And I felt like I was some sort of million dollar recording artist contractor. I felt like I was freaking Pomage, honestly. Like, I felt like this guy, I was like his hero. Okay, I honestly didn't feel like that. But I talked to him for a while. He's a really cool guy. If you're watching this video, shout out to you, bro. That's, you, you definitely made my day. So, yeah, we just, we just kind of talked for a while. Apparently, he was in AE7 a long time ago. It's a trick shotting clan, if you guys don't know. But yeah, he knows, and he's just like, yeah, dude, I know, uh, like, other YouTubers, like, Face Fakey, and I'm like, he's like, do you know Face Fakey? I'm like, yeah, man, me and, me and my bro Face Fakey, we go to the park on the weekends, of course I know, fa of course I know Face Fakey. Yeah, okay, okay, I, I, I over-exaggerated my fame at this point, but he knew who I was, so, you know, I had to play it off like I'm sort of big shot celebrity, you know what I'm saying? I got my own apparel, for crying out loud! Look at this! Look at this! Buy Jam Apparel, what are you doing with your lives? Anyways... I just want to let you guys know that. That's, that's pretty freaking cool. I've been gone for two days. I look like a hobo. Need to cut my hair before, like, the police are called on me because I walk by a local playground and they think I'm some sort of rapist. But, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I got recognized in public. This is the best day of my freaking life. Peace out. This has been Jam. Like the video. More sick content to come. Okay, let's be real. My content isn't sick. But more content to come. Peace out.